in 1978, a visionary generation planted a tree here on the Commons of Advanced Research in Princeton. They called it the Centre of Theological Inquiry. It stands today, as they intended, a unique environment for fresh thinking. If you want to really affect what happens, you have to change the way that people think. At their best, that's what scholars do. And, and I think CTI is, is trying to be a place where scholars can be at their best. We were having a conversation here on campus a few years ago and somebody said, you know, why don't we have some 21st century questions that are relating theology and science and other disciplines? And I thought to myself, that's what CTI could be doing. We do one thing and one thing only at CTI. We gather the best scholars from any discipline and any part of the world to think together on a common big question of our time. It doesn't adopt a triumphalist mode where we theologians are going to provide the answers. It's a real research institute. I mean, it is something that uh, engages people in the life of the mind. And we do that not through big conferences, large research projects, but small scale conversations around our table, but they have a global impact. It is a unique place in the world where people can come apart from their ordinary academic lives and have untrammeled time for thinking and conversation on fundamental questions. We are launching a three-year project in which each year we have 12 fully funded fellowships to bring a team of scholars in residence together to work on three sets of big questions, evolution and human nature, religious experience and moral identity, law and religious freedom. We're looking for theologians whose work can contribute to these three great themes and who are open to a deep transformative conversation with scholars in other fields who are working in the same team. So we're looking for evolutionary biologists, moral psychologists, neuroscientists, uh, legal philosophers, uh, and scholars uh, in related fields also to apply to come extraordinarily to a center of theological inquiry. For people outside of theology, it might be tempting to think about theology as a, as a field with answers, not questions. But when you come to CTI, you find a lot of questions and you find a real diversity of answers. And it's that very intellectual approach that I must say appeals to me as someone who comes from outside theology to the topic. This is the moment for theology to really come back into the heart of intellectual life in the 21st century. And I would really invite every theologian, especially younger scholars, um, to put their cap in the ring to see if they can get one of these fellowships. Because this conversation, I think, will go down in the history of theology as a unique moment and opportunity. They could come in for the same reasons I came here, <laughs> um, to find a place where they are free from teaching and administration, to find a space and, uh, and company for fresh thinking. I'm not expecting harmony. I expect um, to have people around with quite different um, views. If we do our job well in the selection process, you know, that means that, that the opposing camps will be represented around the table. One of my hopes, and I think this is a realistic hope, is that the Center of Theological Inquiry is a place where that broader conversation can happen. Nothing changes the future as much as ideas change the future. The most important thing I do as the director of the Center of Theological Inquiry here in Princeton is to sign this letter inviting an outstanding scholar to join us around this table for a year's conversation. If you are that scholar, I hope you'll apply. <laughs>